Hello, my beautiful people. Thank you for your support. My great family, my fans, my friends, God bless you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Today, <clears throat> I want to talk about two important things that will make your relationship last forever. That will hold your relationship not to collapse. That will stand your relationship. These two things are very, very important. But some people don't know. They neglect it because they don't care. You see, some marriages of this day, it doesn't last anymore. You hear after some year, they will say marriage break up. After two years, one year. So after six months, marriage don't could last. Because these two things is missing. Not only these two things, there are many other things that still miss in the marriage that will make marriage break or that will make relationship break. There are some people, because of these two things, their, their relationship is not working fine. So let me talk about it today and as an advice, as encourage to, to some partner in, in relationship. So let's go there. Number one thing here is commitment. Commitment is very, very important in the relationship. Whether married, married uh, couples, married people, or partner that is in two people that is into relationship. Commitment is very, very important. That is why some these days nobody wants to commit because if you commit, you know that you are committed. You can't go anywhere. So let's go there and see what commitment really means in relationship. So let's go. It says commitment means that you promise to support your partner now and in the future to come. So, <clears throat> commitment also means you will keep on treating your partner with respect. Even if you are upset or angry. Hmm. Yes, see, commitment is not just about how much you love someone or how long you have been together hmm. how long you have been together it is about what you are willing to do for the person <laughs> that is commitment for you he also say here commitment are you there for them when they need you did you put their needs before your own that's all about commitment i also see i also write here commitment is not a one one time thing it is takes hard working effort and dedication to make a to make a relationship work Baka. this is what we call commitment you see some relationship they don't understand. Some men don't understand. Some women don't understand. When we talk about commitment, that is why the men that really understand the meaning of commitment, they know what it takes to, for a man to be committed. That is why some men, they are running. They don't want to be committed to any woman. They don't want to be committed to any, anybody. That is why they always play their card as a fast guy. So, Commitment is very, very important in the marriage or in a relationship. A man needs to be committed for his relationship to be stand tomorrow. A man or a woman in the marriage, both of you need to be committed to both of you. Both of you need commitment. Because something that you commit to, as a wife, you commit to your husband. You are committed to your husband. You will be ready to support that man. Now in future, all your plans will be going. All your future will be bright. That is a, a wife that is committed to his husband. Also a husband that is committed to his wife. 
All your plan is to support your words, your wife, so that in future, the future will be bright for both for you and your children. Also with a man that is in relationship with a woman, before the man will surely commit it, he will know that this woman I'm taking into my future. So you need to be committed in your marriage. You need to be committed in your relationship. Relationship where there is no a man is not committed, a woman is not committed, the relationship will collapse. You can't be dating a woman, you are not committed. That means both of you are just playing around. You can't, you can't marry, you are not committed to your man, to your wife. That means the relation the marriage is going to collapse. After some time, the relationship, the marriage is going to collapse. The relationship will not strong. Are you there for your partner? Are you there? Are you are you willing to, 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 to do a whole your own partner, your wife whole before your own? <laughs> he said, commitment also means you will keep on treating your partner with respect, even if you are upset or angry. Are you ready? Are you ready? Even if your husband, they van on your husband's head, they hurt. Are you still there to respect him? That is commitment. Are you still there to respect him? That's why the angriness, that's why the quarry, that's why the swelling of face, that's why the vanoing up and down, shutting up and down. Are you still committed to your husband? Do you still respect him? Do you still treat him well? Also, with a with a man, you are hungry totally. You are hungry. Do you still treat your woman well? Do you still treat her with respect? That's why all your hungry. That's why all your 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 shouting, your nagging, your vanoying. Do you still respect your wife? A man out there, do you still respect your fiance? Do you treat her well? Because something that is important to you, that is direct to your heart, you must know how to nurture it. Do you still nurture your fiancé? That's why you are upset. That's why you are hungry. Do you still respect her? Do you treat her well like a queen? Like egg? These are the power of a commitment. These are the power about a man that is committed to his wife or a man that is committed to his fiance, to his girlfriend. Commitment is very, very important in a relationship. Very, very important. It's not something somebody should joke with. Let's go there. <clears throat> I say, commitment is not something that can be taken lightly. You must know your partner well. Before you can commit to them, commitment is not is commitment is like you are vowing that you will never leave your partner, good or bad, that you are not going anywhere. You see, these are the power of commitment. When a man commits to a woman, you are showing that you are with her. Two for seven, you are there with her, you go nowhere. Whether it's sweet or it's bad, though you go nowhere, you will stand with that woman. That is a man that is committed. Not be said the woman, you do small thing. Baka, you just Ben Johnson, you wrong. Wah. Some men, they immediately their wife first sick. The wife is no longer eh, 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 is not having that power to package to look beautiful again. This man will your wrong. Some men, they will your wrong. I, I, I those some years ago, I think it was 2014. There's one of my friends that was having breast cancer. He was dating one guy. He's not even Africa guy, you know. Immediately, the doctor announced this sickness. Oh my word! The guy calculated, but because the doctor said that the treatment is going to end after 10 years. In the case of this lady, both checking up everything, you know, maybe the, before through that process, it will take her one year 
to take the therapy of a uh, chemo, uh, 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 chemo therapy, will do it, all those things. Immediately, this guy hear this news. This guy, bo he, he, he borrowed like he, he, he run. He jump out to his country. Mamma mia. This, my friend, was crying in the hospital. She was crying. The guy, don't care why. He just run. So, in this commitment, if it is a man that commits to his wife, he will not run. He will stand. This is why commitment is very, very important in any relationship. Whether marriage or you people are still fiancé, boyfriend and girlfriend, a man that is committed to you, whether they for sunshine, snow, a uh, uh, scream, uh, 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 it will be there with you. It goes nowhere. That is how powerful it is for a man to be committed to his wife or for a man to be committed to his relationship, wife, uh, girlfriend, whosoever, fiancé. That is why commitment is not something that you will just dish out like that. Or thing you know your wife properly, you know the woman well. That is why men that know it, they run. Or thing they find the bow of their of their rims before they start doing this commitment into the life of the woman. Because it's not all about love here. Yeah. Love is good. That is emotional feelings. That one is very good. But this one, it takes ability to be committed to something. It takes ability, courage to be committed to something. It takes dedication to be committed to somebody. It takes when you, you will sacrifice your hope for the person that you are dedicated to. You will sacrifice your own. when you say dedication. Dedication means you, you, you go nowhere. You live, you live with that thing. That is why some people want to do try presentation. They call it dedication. It's not dedication. It's a presentation. When you call it dedication, you mean you are not taking your child home. You live inside that church. That is what Anna do to Samuel. He dedicated it to God, to God. He leave it in that temple. He didn't take Samuel back home. That is why he went to go and bond with that children. They live together. When you say dedication, you leave, you can't collect it from that place. That is why it's called presentation. Something you present, you have right to still take it back. But something that you dedicated to, you go nowhere. That is how this commitment means. When a man is committed to you, when a woman is committed to you, it goes nowhere. It stays with you. The woman will be your backbone. It will stand. It will sit down. It will, it's like you put pot for fire. You will be putting, you will be putting fire left and right. That is how the woman will be. That is how the man will be. That is why commitment in any relationship is very, very important. If you are in any relationship, the man is not committed to you. You know that you are not going anywhere in that relationship. If you are in marriage, your wife or your husband, both of you are not committed to each other. You go nowhere. The marriage will always be up and down. It cannot work. Until both of you sit down and commit to each other. That is the very big key. The whole relationship. Whether in marriage, whether in, in single people, a, 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 a fiancé, boyfriend and girlfriend. This is one of the key that will make your relationship last very well. So, that is it. We all must know how to commit. You must know how to commit to your, to your person. Oh, 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 Some people think, love, I mean love. No! It's very, very sweet and good to love. But love is not enough. In a relationship, no, because something that you are dedicated to, something that you committed to, you will not want anything to happen to destroy it. No, you will not let anything destroy it. Hmm, that is how powerful commitment is. I beg you all, you people should commit in any relationship you are you are you are doing on this head. Please learn how to. Be committed to that relationship if you really want it. Please. If you are in marriage as a husband, as a wife, both of you, if you really love each other and if you people want to stay forever, put co commitment on, have commitment to your relationship. It will last very well for both of you. God bless you. So, the second one is 
communication. Hmm. Communication is very, very also important in any relationship that you want to have on this earth. Without combination, communication, zero. Communication is very, very powerful. So let's go there. You say, a good communication means what, when you pay attention and listen while your partner speak. Listen to understand rather rather than listening to respond you see some people now communi communication is dead in their relationship communication is dead in their marriage no nah communication don't supposed to be dead in your marriage or in your relationship no nah communication is very very important there are different different type of communication I don't have time. I will list it out for you to know. But as for me, I know four good types of communication. There is body communication. There is high contact communication. There is there is smart communication. Different way communication. But some people in their relationship, everything is dying. Even especially the first one, mouth communication is dead. Not to talk of the body language. Not to talk of the high contact uh, communication. Totally, everything is off. How do you want this kind of relationship to switch? The relationship will not switch. You must know how to communicate to each other. Both of you must know how to communicate vocally. Sp speak. It's very, very important in the marriage. It's very, very important in any relationship you want to keep on it. So, let's go. He said, communication as the potential you hear that he has the potential to change your marriage on a deep level and on a deep level or relationship that is it what do you understand by potential potential is something uh, successful you see a potential that, that will carry your marriage to another level to feel sure. That is why you must know how to communicate with your partner. Whether both of you are married, both of you are still doing fiancé, you must know how to communicate with each other. It's very, very important in any, any relationship on this earth. It's very, very important. Let's go to the book of James, chapter 1, verse 19, and hear what he's saying about it, about this communication. So he said, my dear brothers and sisters, take notice of this. Everyone should be quick to listen. That is why communication is very, very important. There are some wives now, before their husband speak one, they don't challenge and wagga. They can't even let the husband explain their sex. Before some fiancé now, their boyfriend speak one, they don't say, honey, stop her. They never even know what in the man want to talk. He don't show up in man. That is very bad. Bible condemn me. That is a bad character. If you have it, you need to let it go. It's a bad one. I beg you. Especially as a woman. A woman supposed to have deep, deep belly. That when your husband want to speak, anytime you want to speak, you will be ready to pay attention to him. It's very, very important. He said, quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become hungry. That is it. If the Bible is advising us like that in all these things, meaning if your partner, your head, if he wants to speak to you, you must know how to listen to him first. Before you say your own, you must be quick in listening to your husband or to your partner, to your fiancé, to your boyfriend. Listen before you speak. Listen before you react. Listen before you become Ogma and Jebesi, where Ogma and Jebesi don't hold for head. Or, it shall go down, come. No, nah. You de van on like thunder. Brrr, barra, brrr. At the end, at the time you now uh, settle down to listen, you will regret why you take that action. Please, I beg you all. Remember, commitment, communication, they are very, very important in any relationship you want to enjoy and keep in the in this head 
God bless you all. Thank you. I love you.